Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> So we are finally here, it's playoff football baby, and after what seems an age, the Champions Cup Season 9 is getting ready to begin. So the league is finished, it's finally gone, it's too late to qualify now, it's, it's gone, kaput. So we have 32 of the best coaches left to go into this competition where it's knockout football. You have a bad day at the office, you get some bad fortune, or just something goes horribly wrong, that's it, you're gone. No second chances now. And um, this season it's going to be a lot harder as well because usually it's the top 16 teams, but because of a legendary edition coming in, it's now 32 teams. So there's extra round of uh, American football slash blood ball to go through. What's great for the neutral who likes watching these playoff games like I do because it means more playoffs, more games. So... Um, what I'm going to what I'm going to be doing in all the, I'm going to do like little 10 15 minute videos of all the teams um so you can have a look at what I, what you think what what I think of uh, their chances the strengths and the weaknesses the reason I'm doing this is because like I say when we usually do the live draw where you go through all 16 teams it lasts about an hour and a half if I did all 32 you know we're going to be looking 3 hours plus what's way too long and you know we'd still be probably rushing through them so when um, what what's going to happen is the live draw will take part as normal i'll have a few um special guests um with me we'll have a look at a few of the teams what we what caught our eye and then we'll go into the live draw and then we'll discuss the draw afterwards so we're gonna basically do that on the live draw show but for this i'm going to do 32 teams what i can hope you appreciate is all going to take me a lot of hours also, for the Xbox uh, crew, I'm doing your 32 as well. So I've got 64 videos of playoff teams I've got to do. And then the live draws and everything else. So like I said, best thing to do, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It's it's free, it costs you nothing, and it just tells you when I am. Um, obviously, I'll put up another video. Well, it'll be quite a lot um, over the next week or so. It's going to be absolutely manic. And obviously today, as long as everything goes well on the PC maintenance, we will be starting Season 10 with cash. Yes, the cash is back. And uh, that will be um, 3 p.m. British Standard Time or whatever you want to call it in good old Blights, England. So, um, oh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. And, um, yeah, it's, oh, it, it's got so much work to do, so much... So much stuff. So let's get on with it. So as you can see, here's your reward, science. So there's no cash this season, but hey, there's still to be called champion is still going to be a great feeling. You also get the fan favorite as well. So you can pick now what Neotheus has done was fantastic. You can actually pick which guy you want in your team who won the final to have the fan favorite um, trait. And obviously what that does, it gives you plus one to the fan um for for win the play so it's fantastic obviously there's your science again as you can see the winner gets 500 signs finally gets 400 and this season everyone still gets signs even the teams who finish 17 to 32 get knocked out first round you're still going to get 100 signs so that's really nice of Nethios. so if everybody's who's in this uh, competition now will at least get 100 signs regardless of what happens in the first round but um it's going to be fantastic we, we're gonna have oh god ogres under Sergal, I can't wait to see that. You've got Halflings, you've got Demented, one of the big guns back with his woodies. That's going to be fantastic. Azawain, the double-time uh, champ, he's gone Norse. You know, you've got Gimlik, the champ, he's back with his Necro. So he's back trying to, um, you know, protect his crown. We've got uh, Mutt from the Xbox crew coming over to the PS4 with his Skaven doing fantastically well. Oh, man, there's so much. We've got, you know, oh, Duran, another big uh, streamer. He's he's going to be in it as well. Mercy kind of a big deal flush. He's going to be in it. Lexington D, a guy who's tried so many times to get into the playoffs but failed. He's in it this season, so I'm really happy for him. You know, Flint Sorrow is back with his Bretonians who had that amazing game against Tripras. Um, when, with Griff helping the Bretts to a, an amazing win in the opening uh 
competition last last season. Trips back as well. He'll be wanting to get some revenge. You got new up and coming coaches who probably played for ages, but just look fantastic. Kaiser Sosa, Shagvat's back. He's been doing fantastic with the vamps. Oh, there's so so many. So Mandidi, yes, he's back with his dark elves. Oh, yes, and top of the pile, Robin Dazone. Who is this guy? He finished top. We'll get to see him in action this season as well. There is so, so, so much. Oh, man, I just cannot wait. Really cannot wait. And even Mystic Ted, by looking at my records here, he scraped in on the wildcard spot with his Dark Elves as well. So we'll be getting him in, in it as well. And, oh, it's amazing. Over the Legendary Edition teams, it looks like Elvin Union have got two teams going into the um, competition. I think they're the only legendary team what has a wildcard spot looking at what I have here. So, there's 32 teams, as we know. I'm going to go through, um, in this video, one team, and then obviously th the rest of the videos will be a bit more um, shorter because obviously I won't be doing all this rigmarole every time we've got the Champions Cup. Um, so, we're going to start off with the champ. Might as well start off with the champ. Best way to do it. So, let's go all the way. Da, 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 da. Let's see if we can find it now. Let's see where he finished. In seventh place. So, he was a second Necro. So, he gets the wildcard spot. So, last season, he wouldn't have qualified. But thanks to the wildcard spot, he is in. Um, with a record of 28, 14, and 8. Moonlight. It's called the Moonlight after his uh, Wolf of last season, who was fantastic. And um, the champ has been getting some really good oh, good uh, performances in, as always. Um, it, obviously, I'm a very good friend of uh, Gimlick, and, he, and obviously me and him talk a lot. And um, he's just a bit, bit concerned that his team um, has got off the boil a bit. Uh, his last few games have not been as great. Ironically, my Necro team have done the opposite. They have seemed to have peaked at the right time, hopefully. But anyway, let's have a look at this team then. So the champ, trying to be the first coach to win back-to-back -back championships on the PS4. So he can make history. So team value, 2060. He's got 120k in the bank, and here we go. As we can see, his two wolves... Both Mighty Blow, both got Bludge, both got Tackle, and obviously Morwag has got piling on. Oh my god, these two guys are nasty. Really nasty. Uh, the hope on this one, if you're if you're going against him, I do believe this is going to be a niggling injury. It is, so you know, if you can break his arm, there's a good chance you can remove him off the pitch. Obviously, Regen may get back on, but, uh, you know... That, that's a small chink of armour there, but it's not stopped him all season. Um, so, But these two wolves, and obviously the one's got Dauntless, so he can go like Saurus hunting, Blackhawk hunting as well. But these two are, oh, these two wolves. They are scary. And um, he had some good wolves last season. He's got two scarier wolves this season. So I expect them to, to uh, be the enforcers. Obviously, the name Bernie Buffon, or Bernie the Returned in this thing, he named after myself. I'm doing him proud again with a nice strength fire, Bludge, Stantham Golem. That is filthy. That is pure filth right there. Obviously, the, the other Flesh Golem's got Block and Guard as well. And um, you can see already how deadly and how efficient this team's going to be. They're going to be so hard to, um, to go against. So, both Golems are solid. Really are solid. And obviously, you know, oh, bet. <laughs> Strength Vav, Stamp and Bludge, that is just, oh, diabolical. Then we go on to his whites. Now, obviously, he's got, a, he's got Oswald the Mean and Inny Mean. He's got Jump Up, Mighty Blow, Piling on, Tackle and Guard. That is a seriously kick ass white. You do not want to be messing with him. So, you've got to worry about the Wolves. You've got to worry about this Strength 5 Golem crashing into your cage or standing firm or just messing your plans up. And on top of that, you've got a bloody Mighty Blow piling on Tackle jumped up white as well. That is crazy. And then even his No Frills white has got just guard, but he's also a Strength 4. So, another Strength up. So, that's three Strength 4 plus pieces in the team. And wow. And the thing is, without only having 20, there's potential that could level up if it gets deep into the competition. 
He's got himself a fantastic goal. Blodge, side step, diving tackle. No, like his diving tackle. Short hands, agility four as well. Last last level up. That is sweet. That is a beautiful goal. And already you can see that Gimlick's team look the real deal again. This team might easily be better than his last team. This team has more punch. Oh, this team can hurt you in so many ways. And also has the ability to score quite easily as well with quality. He's got a dirty player as everyone would have. He's got a he's got a guard zombie as well. Oh god, they they they're price. If you can get one or two zombies with guard, that really helps you. And then obviously after that, he's just got some you know no frill zombies there. I see Ted the Fowler there. But um, and then obviously his his wrestle fen piece is missing the first game. But seriously, guys, this is a team you do not want to be playing. Um, you, you, I honestly think he can do it. I, I really think he's got a great chance of um, being two-time champ. The only problem is, the only, the only negative I'd say about it is obviously uh, returning champions do not have a good record the season after. So um, if you believe in things like that, uh, then obviously that would put off slightly. Fan Factory is now three team re rolls. Uh, club base stand, yep, yeah, I've gone for that as well for for a change, obviously for crowd surfing, plus one on injury rolls when a player is pushed off the pitch. Now then, 28 wins, 14 draws, 8 losses. Now, that's, there's nothing too shabby about that. The problem is, is look at this. 1-0 against Projekis Lemons, then 1-1 one, one against Insert Sexy Punt, although that was amazing how he got a draw out of that. That was a crazy game where the Amazons got almost a record amount of uh, armor breaks. He got stuffed 3-0 by Slim Lizzies. The Dwarfs held him to 1-1. The Slim Lizzies beat him again there, 2-1. High Elves, 1-1. So you have to go back seven games for when he last won. And that was against the Slim, Lim Slim, Slim Lizzies. And then he won against Mons Dark Elves. And he won against the High Elves. So as you can see, the last six games were a bit of a concern. So I can understand why he's a bit worried. Because he hasn't won one. Well, you know, he's a bit of a worry. Because the, the, the amount of... The, power this team has you know you, you go through trots so his team needs to bounce back if they do then this team i tell you what they are gonna be so so hard to stop it's as simple as that and um i don't want to be playing them so um <laughs> that probably means i probably will and um oh god what have i done here why is it not let me go back on oh don't be like this have I spelled it wrong? There we go. I spelled it wrong. So, um, you know, looking weaknesses. So we just talked about the strengths. What's the weaknesses? Let's have a look. There's got to be a weakness. Well, it's 2060 team value. So the chances are a lot of teams will get inducements against them. Uh, what will vary from a wizard to various other stuff. He, this guy, obviously Morwag, he, he has got niggling injuries. So again, some of the more power, mighty blow, tackle pieces might be able to... It'll be a lot easier to get off the pitch. Four guard pieces, whew, that, that's fantastically more than enough. Um, There's not really... There really isn't any weakness. There's nothing really to stand out. I'm, you know, I'm picking... It, obviously, his TV value is high, but it will because of the quality he's got. Niggling injury on the wolf. Maybe try and take out his goals early. But yeah, this is a serious team. And, you know, they really do have a fantastic chance of getting through. Again, inducements could be a leveller. But um, I would say that the main concern for Gimlick is last six games, the team has not has been playing way below par. And um, he needs them to bounce back. If they bounce back, then it's going to take a very good team to uh, stop them. So there you go. That is the Moonlight. I predict they will go far. I will be shocked if they go out first round. And um, yeah, they are the real deal. And um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say to them. So there you go. There's our first team preview done. The Moonlight, coached by Gimlick Swede, the champ. Can he make it back to back championships? Take me right back to the start